All right, hello everyone, and welcome back. We're on the Rose of uh, World on Minecraft. Um, I've added extra dirt wall to the uh, cow pen there, and as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of construction work on the house, but the main focus is going to be getting this floor done today. That being said, I need to actually get all the wood out. I finally figured out what I was doing wrong with uh, the dark oak, by the way. Apparently, you need to set them up in uh, all the saplings in groups of four, and then they spawn like this. So, that being said, I did not know, and that took a while before I just went, well, let's try the group of four and see if anything happens. Boom, there. of where I'm going to put my entrance onto the roof and I think I'm going to put it right there. I thought we're going to require a lot of sticks. Got plenty of wood planks though, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, this entire wall is going to be solid planks because what we're going to do here is we're going to put up a big uh, world map. So what all I discover and can find will be put into big map sheets, which I'll duplicate to leave at home and put on the wall here. So that whole thing will be covered in maps. Further reason why I want to get this floor done is so I can be further away from any monsters that can spawn. Hi down there. Now we're this way. Get out of my fucking garden. There you go. <clears throat> Tronum. many ladders, but again, you never know when you might need a ladder somewhere else. So, now you're in a... Okay, I know something, yep. <sighs> Get 
get up here. I'm going to do... Leave this alone, but we're going to build wood planks for the beginning of the roof, but we're not going to actually use them for the outside of it. So, like this. Okay, that's done. And I forgot to get this started. Okay, so I'm going to at least show you guys getting this started and then I'm going to take a break and then come back once we have a few stacks done. I'm going to be turning a whole bunch of this cobblestone into stone bricks. So I'm just going to plop that all in there and we're going to let it run. That's a semi truck. I'll let that run and I will be back in a little while. Well, we got a couple more minutes yet, but uh, while we wait for the last couple bricks to smelt, I figured it's time to show you guys this as well because I don't think I showed you this. I have expanded it out and I have been growing potatoes. As you can see, while I've been waiting for everything to smelt through, uh, the garden's actually grown quite well. We'll probably have to clean that out after we're done with the roof. Would be my guess. All right, about done. We got two more left. <clears throat> so what we're doing is we're taking the smelted guys. We're gonna break them down into stone bricks and then turn them into stairs. Which does lose about two-thirds of a stack. That one's done. Alright. So let's break the rest of these down. Because whether or not you want to believe it, that roof will take forever to cover, and you do need a ridiculous amount of steps to cover it all. And in case you don't know what that noise is, that's the skeletal horse outside. There's at least two of them in this corner right now. Alright, and the reason why I went through all the trouble making these into stone bricks and then making them into stairs is because I don't want the same stone type all over the place. We've already got regular cobble going up the corners because that was an easy to get material. So holding down shift you don't fall off ledges and oop, I actually goofed. What you want to do is you want to aim for the lower half of the block and then when you're trying to do corners you want to aim for the lower half of the block while also trying to get right near the back end so that way it will see both corners and switch to it properly. The outside rim here is usually the hardest part to get started, so we're just going to do that to it sweet and get it done.
did a good, decent amount, but I'm not even... I'm just barely over halfway, maybe. With getting this done. Alright, here we go. Yep, this is my last stack. It's going close, but I think I have just enough stairs. Actually, here's an idea. If I can... Excellent. And right here. Excellent. All right. So I can actually walk all the way up to the top without having to jump on anything. Fantastic. I like this roof. This roof is done. So let's go back downstairs and have a look at the handiwork I've been doing now. trees here and very nice very nice and very big I haven't even filled this place yet um yeah now I can move my bed upstairs where it properly belongs right there in the corner and, let me think, is it like this, I believe? That's pressure plate. No. There we go. Trap doors. So what I usually tend to do with these uh, roof holes is I put it tend to have a trap door that I can close to keep the rain out. And also if something does somehow accidentally spawn up there, it has the hardest time of ever getting anywhere near me. Also should add let me get rid of these that I'm gonna use one of these right about here to also block anything from trying to come in or out. So nothing can actually come up the stairs unless I let it. So just in case. And that's also another thing I haven't shown you guys, and I'm going to show you really quick here. I don't think I actually showed you anything down here. And look what I dug into. I think I've explored all of this. Yeah, this was just a little nook. Explore all this, but all the rest of that. I still need to go further up. I've explored all the way to the other end, but there I need to go further up because there's a lot of stuff up in there. Look at that, I can see tons of coal. I see plenty of iron here and there. I did get some gold that was in here, but that was the only patch of gold that I've seen so far. Oop, keep falling over now. Also, we need to go up higher and light things up because things keep spawning. And that looks like it might be a doorway, right? Let me try to look at it from the other angle here. Oh, that's a huge gaping hole in the side, yeah. There's there's gotta be like a small cave system or something up in there. And the stuff is spawning up there and I can hear a zombie already. Yeah, need to do some spelunking in here. But I will save that for another episode. Uh, just to let you guys know, I'm thinking that maybe, depending on how much free time I have, I'll split I'll be splitting up the uh, videos in a slightly different way. Um, I'll be focusing on Legacy of Kane because that's the main big series I'm trying to get done. I'm on Defiance now, which means I'm on the last game in the franchise. I'm not sure how many hours of gameplay that game is, but I do know it's very linear, and outside of the uh, sometimes horrendous jumping puzzles, 
Um, it's usually a pretty straight through game. Uh, combat is really intricate and really nicely done. It's just that every once in a while there's platforming and the game is really not suited for platforming. That camera just hates me. Um, but uh, that'll be the main focus. I'll be for sure doing one of those from Thursday till Sunday every week. I will be peppering in um, Dead by Daylight whenever I can actually get a decent game because it too has issues where I can't seem to always get a good game. <laughs> I've actually been very fortunate for the three that I recently recorded. Um, otherwise, the usual secondary will be this or Metroid 2, I think. Because I was saying last time that Metroid 2 wasn't getting that many views, but then Metroid 2 caught up, and it caught up with the previous Minecraft video. So they're kind of neck and neck. So I will be switching off between them, I think, and we'll see if either one of them actually gets more popular, or if they stay about the same, in which case I'll just keep doing both. But uh, thank you all for watching. Yeah, look at that. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Quick afterward, I can see the village from here, and I think I found us something new to look at over there. I'm gonna tilt the camera to the side here, so you can have a better look at it. You know what that is? Cause I know what that is. That's a witch's hut in the middle of the swamp. Next time.